Hi, I'm Tim Orock. I'm one of the uh, assistant managers here at Colonial Shooting Academy in Richmond, Virginia. We're going to disassemble a uh, field strip and add core gas piston operated AR-15 and properly lubricate it. The first thing we need to do is make sure the weapon is unloaded, so we remove the magazine. And we're going to pull back on the charging handle, visually inspect the chamber, make sure there's nothing in there. Very important, we let the bolt go forward. At this point, we push the pin. It's right here, your rear takedown pin. Push that in and pull it out from the side and it's captive, it's not gonna go anywhere. At this point, the two receivers, your upper and lower, will hinge. Don't let it, don't let go of the lower else it can just pop onto your rail and can show damage. Pull the charging handle back and then pull your bolt carrier out. The ad core is a little different in that it has a long stroke gas piston which is attached or rides inside of the uh, charging handle. That's a little different than a standard AR. We're going to take the charging handle off. That simply just slides right off. And at this point, you take your takedown pin, which is that piece right there, pull that out. And if that doesn't work, just take something like that, pull that out, put it someplace where you're not going to lose it. Next comes the firing pin. We turn that upside down, the firing pin comes out. Your bolt now needs to be pushed back, and your bolt retaining pin rotates so it's parallel with the gas piston, and that pulls out. And now your bolt simply pulls out of the bolt carrier. So we want to make sure that the bolt is properly lubricated. And if you can see it, that works. Take your fingers, just rub it around. We don't need to worry about back here, just up here. Your bolt retaining pin it's going to get some oil, and then the whole thing goes back together with the extractor, which is that big U right there. That's what that's spring-loaded and pulls the case out of the chamber. That always goes to the right side of your bolt carrier. You see that hole right there? You're going to see that through that cut, and that's where you put your bolt retaining pin. You're going to feel some resistance. As you push back down in, you're going to want to be able to see right in there. And then you take your bolt retaining pin that's been lubricated, and it has a hole for the firing pin to go through. But it goes in parallel, see that's a rectangle, parallel to your gas piston. We're going to rotate that and then pull the bolt forward. Drop the firing pin in. And if it looks like that, that's wrong. Just take your finger and push it down so it sits flush. Take our firing pin retaining pin, and it looks like a cotter pin, but it's been heat treated. And that just slides right back in. Okay? At this point, our lubrication points are right here at the bottom. You'll feel a ridge on your bolt carrier group. We're going to put some oil right up here. We're going to put some oil right in front of your bolt retaining pin and a little bit on this rail back here and right up here. It's not going to be unusual to see wear on the finish here. That's normal. That just says, hey, that's where we put some oil. You really can't over lube these things. So if you can see light reflecting off the lubricant, you're good. This is a dust cover that is unique to the AdCore system, um, and it can be removed. Um, not that big a deal if you get oil on top of it. The rest of the bolt carrier um, never really comes in contact with anything. 
If this were a parkerized bolt carrier, I'd go ahead and put some oil on it. That just helps with uh, rust prevention. This is hard chromed, so that's taken care of. And I'll put a couple drops of oil inside of the upper receiver through the ejection port. Literally, a couple drops and come up with my finger and just kind of move that around and make sure to try to get some on the other side. Any oil I have left over on my hands, I'll put on the charging handle. Not that it needs lubrication, but you will see a little bit of wear uh, through the years as you rack this back, and the oil tends to help prevent that a little bit. So at this point, we're going to see that lug right there and that lug right there. We're going to drop this in at an angle and lift up, and you'll feel it get into that dovetail. Your gas piston, this is again different from a standard AR, has got to kind of go in first. And you see how I kind of pull that around? And because that gas piston goes through the hole in the front of your charging lever, charging handle, then the whole thing is going to go together like that. Your lower receiver really doesn't need a lot of lubricant, but I will put a drop on the bolt release. because that moves back and forth like that. So now we close the upper to the lower, push your takedown pin in, rack the bolt a couple times. I will point it the rifle in safe direction, put it on semi. Safe direction is not a wall. Pull the trigger, keep the trigger pulled, rack the bolt, and then see if the trigger resets. Which he heard it just did, and it's good to go. That's it.